Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and the next video for our Gunsmith series. This time it's part six. This used to be part eight, so it's the AKM with the shift grip. Uh, pretty much nothing's really changed, but with new economy and new parts and stuff, we'll take a quick look, make sure you got everything you need uh, so you know how to get this done as cheap as possible. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Okay, so here's the requirements. AKM, you need a Fortish shift grip silencer, uh, the 30 round Magpul mag, ergo over 40, and then a recoil sum less than 350. Pretty much it. Oh yeah, sighting over 800, which we'll get into that. That's actually kind of an important part because it gives you a couple options. We'll talk about those just to save you some money. Okay, so first things up is the AKM. You need to buy that, not the AKMN, not the AKMS, any of those things, the AKM. And you can just straight buy it from proper for 43,000 or so, right, uh, right here, 43,000. There's also a barter for three Tashunkas if you have those lying around or want to do it a little bit cheaper. Sometimes you can get these things down for like 10,000 and it's cheaper than the buy by a couple thousand. I'll leave that up to you. Just want you to know that it's there. Now, as we said, there is a specific parts list, things that it specifically calls out. Those two being the Fortis Shift Grift and the Magpul. These two pieces here you have to have. Now, the Fortis Shift Grift can be hard. You can find it around. It does show up out in world. That's where I got mine from, found in Raid. I know to keep it, so I, I found it and I kept it. But buying it requires you to have Peacekeeper Loyal to level four. So unless you're there, you can't buy it from, you gotta buy it off the fleet and it can be very, very expensive. But there is an option. You can get it off a barter from Mechanic. Not directly though, it is this uh, MPX barter right here. It has a shift grip on there. Five DVDs, five lamps, two weapon parts. Now depending on when you're gonna do this, this is gonna cost you probably 100 to 150,000 rubles or how you do it if you want to drag the dvds out or the uv lamps you know the uv lamps run around 10k dvds going over from 10 to 20 and weapon parts are anywhere from what 10 to 20 as well so bonus is is that you do get an mpx that you can sell you get a bravo site which gives you a little bit of a combat optic you can use uh you get a flashlight you get the shift grip or you can just sell the whole thing and just cash some get some cash back Aside from that, the Gen 3 mag can just be bought off the flea for not too bad or $37 off a of Peacekeeper 2. I do believe I'll verify here real quick with you guys, make sure. Yeah, right there, Peacekeeper 2, you can buy it. Now, aside from those things, a few things you need to get is a Bastion dust cover. Uh, these are off a of skier. They can sell out, but you can also find them. You don't necessarily have to have the Bastion. It's the one I run with. Later in wipe, these don't run out. They're all over the place. It's just early wipe now. You also need a X or RS-47 uh, handguard. Now this comes off of uh, Peacekeeper. Again, loyalty level two, but it's also not too bad. It's pretty cheap to buy. And then I always go with a hybrid 46. There are a couple options, but the reason I use the hybrid 46 is on mechanic two, you have a really cheap barter, usually about 40,000, sometimes even less. So right now you're gonna spend 40,000 to get it. I've gotten it for as low as like 30,000, depending on what people are selling RAM for, or if you get them out of raid yourself. And then after that, you just need the, the mount, which is really cheap. You buy it off of uh, Peacekeeper as well, or Mechanic, a couple thousand rubles. The saw grip. Now, this is something that there's a ton of options with. It is on Mechanic 2, but all you need is a grip of 11 or more, and you can find these all over in Raid. For example, I have this Scorpius I found that's plus 12. RK3s, though I would save those because you need those for other tasks down the line. Anything with 11 or more you find that'll go on an AK will work. This is just one you can buy. And then lastly is this 6P20 uh, stock. You just buy it off a of proper. I believe it's on proper one, but we'll go look. Um, uh, proper one, proper two. Yeah, right there, proper two. And this just is the last little bit to get you up over the top of it. So let's get this thing built real quick, exactly how I have it. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the sights. So I went with a Trijicon ACOG and then this compact arms sight adapter. Um, I will do a parts list for this after we're done, just, just so you know, but you get this off of skier, skier loyalty level two. And the reason I say this one is it gives you a couple options with optics. Now, when you link search this, I come over here and I go to mods and I go to sites, just buy whatever the cheapest site is. Right now it's the primary arms compact. You can get them for 20K right off of skier. But sometimes these sites go for as low as like 19 or 18K. That when I bought it, I got this one here for 18,000 rubles. That's why I bought it. Now, if you go with the prism, there's some other stuff that I'll talk about in a sec. Uh, to get it done, to get you over the top, but let's get this thing put together. So take off your stock, take off your magazine, take off your your rear sight, your muzzle brake, your grip, and uh, your, your handguard and your dust cover. So pretty much everything except the gas tube, right? So you could disassemble and put the gas tube on if you want. Put the magazine in, we'll put the RS-47, shift grip, 
the bastion uh let's put our stock on our handguard there's the suppressor and there's our sight and boom just like that we got a little yellow check mark right so let's say you decided to go with the other scope this prism 2.5 Something to keep in mind is that doesn't get you there. You are a half a ergo short. It's 39.5, it needs to be 40. So really easily, you can put this RP1 on there. Now, if you happen to get, let's back up here a little bit. Let me pull this RP1 off. If you happen to have a Scorpius and you want to use it for this, or any of these plus 12s, as you can see, this gets you there. It's just that one extra ergo you need. There's several ways you can go about it. This is just the way I found. Let me pull that Scorpius off because it's worth a little bit more to me. I'm going to take the prism off, put this on there like that, and we are good to go. Um, I'm going to go a parts list for you here. Let's go to the presets. Here's the preset of it, as you can see. Now, if I go to find parts, we'll check off uh, owner traders. And there's your parts list. Uh, keep in mind that the Bastion Dust Cover is not there and the Fortis Shift Grift is not there uh, just because they're not available to buy, but you do need those. But there's your, your buy list that a lot of you guys request. Now, I'm going to pull something up here. I'm going to show you guys real quick one other bit of tidbit of information here, and it's going to be with the, the receivers, the, 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 the dust covers, right? So there's a bunch of other dust covers out there. You've got the dog rail. Now, the difference between the dog rail and this one is it has higher ergo, but it doesn't have that negative one recoil. So as you can see, that does not work with the dog leg. What the problem is, is the recoil. You need just a touch less recoil. You can do that with a rubber butt pad. Problem is this quest is the one that unlocks a rubber butt pad. So they're not everywhere to have unless you have one. Or you can go with a fancier stock. Now, if I have, I think I have a Zukov here. This is a really high end one that I found in Raid. But as you can see, that gets us underneath that 350. You can't have 350. It's gotta be 349 or less. So just some options out there. I wanted to point out to you guys. Let me put this thing back together how I had it. And uh, I will turn it in. Dog leg, bastion, scope back on. And we'll go turn this into mechanic. You guys can see what the hidden reward is because I don't even know what it is yet either. Turn in. There's our, our uh, AKMN. And we uh, got 60 rounds of BP as our secret. But we also have the, the rubber butt pad unlocked now as well, which is super good for a lot of your AK builds going forward we'll complete it we'll get a sneak peek at gunsmith part seven um to point you out there is a time delay on gunsmith five to six i wanted to mention because we kind of i tried to do it last time i didn't have it unlocked there's a 24 hour wait from when you finish gunsmith point uh part five you've got to wait 24 hours before six will even show up so if you're wondering what's holding it up that's it right there so Gunsmith Part 7 is going to be the M4. We'll go for that, but we'll wrap her up from there. Once I get Gunsmith Part 7, look for it up here. We will have it ready for you guys as soon as we can. Uh, but with that, I'll sign off. Thank you guys for watching. See you in Tarkov.